Oh, I didn't see that. Barely lift my arms because I've done so many here, but I'll put them down. All right, listen, guys, we're going to be getting into some more good band stuff with Andy Bag. I know you guys like the last band work that we did. We found it really helpful, and I am glad that you did. So we're going to do more. Uh, this band is such a great piece of kit for our heavy bag solo training, you know. We get caught up and we're boxing with the, with the heavy bag, we're dancing around, we're boxing. Ha! I'm a freaking Mike Tyson in the ring, but we don't get enough solid, like, street, street training, grabbing him up, pushing him out, and getting him ah! to our street stuff with the bag. So we really want to um, work as much as we can as we would actually fight in the street. So this bag session, we're gonna be um, simulating that our arms are actively being discouraged. In other words, that our arms are trapped. You know, maybe in a, in a clinch type of situation, a lot of times what will happen is he'll overhook me, and maybe even he'll have two overhooks. Maybe he'll simply have a hand on my bicep trying to tie it up, right? A lot could go on, a lot could happen. Perhaps he even just has a good firm grasp on my sleeve here, right? You jujitsu guys will know all about that and know how hard it can be when you're in a grapple like this, it is to get into the guy. Even if you train throwing the arm and circling around in the back, uh, when you actually start going live with guys, it can be very difficult. So this is why we're gonna train like this and we're gonna put the bands, and all it is is gonna be like this, all right? The bands are gonna be around A and B, and we're just gonna uh, start operating like this. Now, as we get a little more into the drill, we can do two for more resistance, but we'll start here, and we will simply assume that these hands are a little bit occupied. Now, another good thing about this is, even if we're tied up, what can we do? We can start trying to get those arms off of us, but we have to be cognizant of the fact that this gentleman also will be actively trying to dissuade us from hurting him. Okay, so he's going to be throwing punches at us. He's going to be potentially giving us elbows, all the same stuff that we're doing with him. So the first thing I like to do is keeping that in mind, is have a nice, obviously, a nice good posture and get real close to him, right? So that dissuades him as much as possible from, you know, really giving me that big knockout power punch. Another thing I want to do is not stand straight up like this, but I do want to kind of protect my groin. I want to protect myself as much as possible and assume that he's going to probably be throwing knee strikes as well. So I can try to block those knee strikes. I can return those knee strikes as much as possible. You know, that's kind of obvious, right? But the next thing we want to do is really work on kind of moving the guy around. Short little choppy moves when he's not expecting it. Now what we can do is kind of fake him out and push, 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 and then pull. All right, so we push, 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 and then we pull. And on the pull, push, 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 uh, I'm trying to move him, I'm trying to move him. Uh, uh, and on the pull, we pull back, we get a little space, give him a short little choppy elbow. So push, push, and then we come back. Push, 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 and then we come back. So what these bands are doing is simulating the fact that he's trying to dissuade us, he's trying to control our arms, but we do need to get just enough space and give him something. Now obviously when we push, we push, we pull back, we give him something, we might want to come back in so that we don't get elbow back ourselves. And these bands are just a great way of really um, training ourselves, training our mind to not always be here, right? We get bogged down and caught up with this stuff, but we don't train here enough and when guys really start grappling with us, not only does that start to happen, right? Adrenaline, um, it's, a, it's kind of a weird position that we don't train enough, so it really starts getting our uh, breath up and we kind of lose control. So this way, we not only train our cardio for this stuff, but we train our cardio as much as possible for this stuff, which is just slightly different kind of cardio than we might be used to. So this, I really like these bands, as I said, for this stuff. Short little choppy elbows, and then come back, head up, posture up, push away, head up, posture up, knee straight. And then again, just remember also, besides just from 
the push, 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 pull back. Strike. We also have moving around. All right. On the moving around, moving around. Then maybe we uh, give one of those uh, sweep kicks, right? Or we move them around. Then maybe a little short choppy step. Then we move them around again. Short little choppy elbow. Um, and on those moves, if you can just imagine, I'm dancing with someone. I'm wrestling. When they move me, this is what happens, right? When they move me, that's what happens. We take advantage of that movement and we give them something. Or we take advantage of that movement and we pop them in the eardrum. So those are um, a few extra drills that we can do. Here, push, push, pull, here. Or here, short choppy uh, movement, short choppy movement, pull. Short choppy movement, push, and then we come back. So I hope you uh, got something good out of that. Please remember until next time that you are your first and last line of defense. Also guys, check out the website, gutterfightingsecrets.com. We got counter manipulation secrets. We got alpha up to boost your testosterone levels naturally. We got obviously top selling product, gutter fighting combatives. Go check it out, gutterfightingsecrets.com. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.